This is main engine decab video part 7 which is the last part. They show how to fit back the cylinder cover back in place. So for doing this things to remember is we have to fix the cleaning ring, piston cleaning ring with reference to the mark made and fix the gasket without any anti seizure and renew cooling water pipe o-rings. So these are all the three things that you have to keep it in mind before fitting the cylinder cover in place. So we are going to see what how to do all these jobs while fitting back the cylinder cover in place. So now you can see the piston is in place and we are taking the piston little bit down towards BDC so that we get the access to fit the piston cleaning ring. So just clean the ring with the help of uh, compressed air and apply some little coat of lube oil and clean the surface. So that is what uh, we are doing now. This surface which we are cleaning is the gasket seating surface and uh, in the liner inside the liner there will be a groove which is your piston cleaning ring seating surface. So the piston cleaning ring is already cleaned means removed all this uh, carbon deposit and everything and uh, one thing that you need to notice while uh, fitting the piston cleaning ring is you must be remembering that uh, while removing the piston ring we had made a marking and a punch mark that punch mark and marking should match when we are fitting back the piston ring piston cleaning ring in place so that is what uh, i am looking where is the punch mark which we made okay found the punch mark so now we are fitting the piston cleaning ring in place with regards to the marking which we did i will show the marking so that uh, you can understand very easily which marking i am talking about so yeah still we are looking for the punch mark because after cleaning the punch mark visibility will be very less you have to be very sharp enough to find out the punch mark because we made only one punch and uh, everyone is looking for the punch mark yes i think uh, we found the punch mark okay so punch mark should be made in both the way both on liner and uh, on the piston ring also so that both can be matched so i will give you a close up uh, vision so this is the piston cleaning ring and you can see the punch mark which is being made you can see here yeah, you can see two dots so this is the punch mark that we made and now it is fit back in place so after uh, completion of this the next step is you have to fit the gasket this is the gasket that you are going to fit and uh, main thing that you need to keep it in mind is you should not apply any kind of anti seizure compound while applying this gasket that is one uh, requirement instruction from maker exactly you have to keep on the gasket surface properly so that the gasket should not uh, move from its place it's a very small groove and the gasket thickness is very less maybe less than 0.2 that's what i'm saying do not use anti seizer compound like um, molysulfate and or copper jobie whatever you should not use so we are done with this and uh, we are in preparation of the stud bolts just apply coat of uh, anti seizure compound on the studs so next before installing the cover what are all the things that you need to check clean all the joint flanges prepare cooling water gaskets and clean cooling jacket these are all the three things that you has to complete before installing the jacket in place so now we had lifted the jacket in we had lifted the cylinder cover and uh, now we will do the cleaning of the flange surface buffing of flange surface and on the other side we have to this is the 
where we are applying the silicon means uh, this is the silica gel where we are applying for the cooling water pipe insert so yes we are uh, changing the pouring of cooling water pipe and the cleaning of uh, flange surface is going on using the buffing machine and uh, all the cooling pipe o-rings should be renewed and apply a coat of silica gel so we are changing all the gaskets so now we are lifting the cylinder cover and always use proper lifting tool while lifting this kind of heavy equipments and uh, move the cylinder cover towards the unit and you can see all the flanges area had been completely cleaned and now we are going to keep exactly straight towards the unit and we have to lower the cover main thing that you need to notice is you have to hold the cylinder cover when it was being lowered and you have to mind the finger sometime when you are not minding your finger the cylinder cover can your finger can get caught between stud and cylinder cover which causes injury so be very careful and also while lowering be careful that the cylinder cover should not hit the stud threads and slowly lower the cylinder cover and the stud should go directly inside the cylinder cover slot so once it is inside then we are okay that is what we are doing now slowly we have to lower the cylinder cover okay ensure uh, you can see yes that's all once it is inside it will go directly and main thing that you need to notice is the cylinder the gasket should not move from its place and the cylinder cover should be seated properly in place that you can identify by the surface between the liner and the jacket the gap between the liner and jacket compare with the nearby units so that you will come to know so that's all cylinder cover is in place now inspection has been done cylinder cover has been seated properly and after done after installation of cylinder cover you have to check the seating of cylinder cover properly install stud o-rings and tighten the nuts hydraulically so that is the final stage before in after installing the cylinder cover so that is what we are going to do install the ring o-ring for each and every stud this installation of o-ring is some special uh, instruction for this particular engine so that's what i say always whenever you do your job just have a look into the manual instruction so that you will get uh, some idea if there is any new instruction given by the maker even though we are done a uh, lot of times some smaller changes after giving a service letter the maker will change so just it is always good to see the service letter and manual before uh, carrying out any job so that is what we are inserting the o-ring for all the studs once uh, o-ring is fitted then you have to fit the nuts and uh, same procedure tighten the nuts using hydraulic pump so you can see i am fitting all the o-rings now the nuts is being fitted once the nut is fitted tighten it with the help of hydraulic jack i had uh, uh, shown lot many videos regarding how to do the hydraulic tightening but as i said earlier i will post a separate video on how to open and tighten the hydraulic nuts that so with the help of that video if you 
want to have more clarity then uh, you can see those videos for uh, knowing about how to use the hydraulic pump to open hydraulic nut <coughs> to open and uh, close hydraulic uh, nut using hydraulic uh, jacks and pumps so once this is done the next thing is uh, you have to connect the cooling water pipes first open the cooling water once you open the cooling water then you confirm there is no cooling water leakage from the jacket so once the jacket is not leaking then you can go ahead to fit back the lube oil pipes fuel oil pipes control air pipes exhaust side pipes and all the other connection which has been removed can be fitted back so once that is done we are done with our decal job and uh, this is what uh, i told just now things to do after tightening the cover nuts just install the cooling water pipe first and open cooling water check for leakages if nothing no leakage go ahead with the connections of other pipelines so we are done with the job so after connecting all those things you have to open the fuel oil line and check for any leakages run the lube oil pump check for any leakages and uh, till the time uh, you start the engine don't uh, put the uh, lagging for the exhaust uh, side so that if you find any leakage you can tighten it so that is the idea so anyway after watching this video you must have got some idea about how to perform main engine decal job on board ship if you have any doubt please put in comment box definitely i will reply you thanks for watching thank you all